Hello, my name is Marit. Have you ever wondered why dressing up as ghosts and goblins and going trick-or-treating and carving pumpkins became part of our fall season celebrations? I'd like to tell you the origins of Halloween, which started in Ireland many, many thousands of years ago. Halloween started as Samhain. Samhain was the ending of the old year and the beginning of the new year for the people who were known as Celts who lived in Ireland and England and Scotland. It was a changing of the season from harvest to winter time. Day started at sundown, night preceded the light, and together they formed a single unit of time. Our current version of Halloween came to North America from the Irish who fled the potato famine in the 1840s. Our way of celebrating Halloween by dressing up as ghosts and goblins and trick-or-treating can all be traced back to the old customs and folklores that they brought along with them. All Hallows or All Saints Day has been a very solemn feast day for the past two millennium as a celebration, remembrance and veneration of all the Christian saints. In fact, the church chose November the 1st as the date of All Hallows because it's already strongly associated with the dead. So November the 1st was a Celtic New Year day, and it signified the victory of darkness and blight over light and bounty, and the readiness to go into slumber, to begin a new circle and a new cycle of life. The Celtic mythology has it that Samhain, the god of the dead, would release the spirits of those who died in the year, and they would roam around the countryside looking for folks to join in the frolic and cause mischief. Irish people carved turnips and dressed up as ghosts and goblins to play tricks and have fun on this night. As the old Christian season of All Hallows took hold in this country, the festival never died. During the feast, it was customary for the local church people to parade their images of the saint around their villages. And eventually, people began to dress up to represent both the solemn and the jovial. An important part of the Irish festival of Halloween is the mystical little people. The little people were very important spirits who loved to create havoc among mortals. And they played pranks and shenanigans, as often happens on Halloween in rural areas in our day. Trick-or-treating for candy has its origin in an ancient procession which went door to door asking for protection against evil spirits. In ancient days, the procession was for food to distribute to the old and sick of the village to get them through the winter and bring fortune on the house for its kindness. Food was also left out for wandering souls that night. And lighted pumpkins on doorsteps reminded us of the carved pumpkins of olden days. These pumpkins called jack-o'-lanterns would be what the Irish carved to show the friendly spirits the way home. Halloween was a time to eat special food, a special soul cake called barm brack, a simple cake that had tokens in it which would tell the fortunes of the people in the house, a ring for a happy marriage, coins for money in the future, or a fun time for families to explore together what the future might bring. Fun games of chance and dancing and music held the joy in the season of transition and to prepare for the bleak days ahead. In Ireland today, large bonfires are held in districts where neighbours would gather together for a chat before the days became dark and families became more enclosed. And the bonfires harked it back to the ancient Celts that drove the young animals through the fire of the bones to build their immunity to all the illnesses that were about to come in the winter. So Halloween, ancient roots and present fun, a time for games and celebration, a time to relax and enjoy dressing up and meeting neighbours and friends, a time of encouragement to persevere as the darkness descends. It is a community time to be together and to celebrate before people come indoors, to sit by fires, to tell stories of their ancestors, and to build memories of times past and inspire each other 
for times to come. Enjoy your celebration of Halloween.